Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on 07, is it? Yeah, oh, 07 Feb, non-farms today. Um, these days, non-farm days are turning into a waste of trading days. Gotta say... It's been um, it's been a long time since we've had a real good uh, good trading non farm non farm stay. But anyway, be that what it may, um, we do have Canadian and U.S. employment numbers today. Before that, we have a, we have an interest rate decision out of Russia. For those who care about that, um, I believe they're expected to raise rates of a quarter of a point. Um, but don't quote me on that. I don't follow that super closely. Oh no! Now I'm looking at this here. Um, these guys are saying actually they are going to lower rates a quarter of a point. Sorry. Shows how much I know about Russia. I don't trade the ruble much, uh, as in actually ever. So I'll just leave that alone. Uh, back to Europe and America and Canada. We've gotten on farms today. A couple of things to look at. Um, a lot of people looking at this uh, dollar yen trend line. Um, comes in here at oh at ten. Uh, got to 02 last night. We're at 92. We also have this cable uh, 129, the figure, which will be of interest to a lot of people. Got down to 23 last night. We did see some bids there uh, between 20 and the figure. So that might be slow going down there in cable. But through 129 is going to be a real problem for this pair um, and so if non farms is a is a boomer this will go through dollar yen will break this trend line um, euro of course is at the bottom of its recent ranges we did trade down to a 65 yesterday which is a bit surprising actually um, that we even got down that far but now here we are at 80 um, kind of caught caught in the middle here we'll see what euro uh, can muster today on this non farms on a weak non farms uh, we like to buy euro this is our horse on a weak one on a strong one we'll probably just buy dollar yen um, what else is out there dollar cad snuck through the figure yesterday but just couldn't really muster any strength up to 09 you have now all these highs here 09 20, 14, 16, 19, 25, and 27. A lot of guys will have this line drawn. Something like this. Or maybe take this one. Anyway, we're... We're fooling around with the top side here, and I think that's the risky side, to be fair, especially if we get a weak one in Canada and a strong one out of the U.S. Um, let's see how that goes. Let's talk about Turkey. We were dancing around there at uh, 598.85 last night. Uh, looked like there was some funny business from a New York, one of the New York banks. Uh, no, I'm not sure whether they were testing the offer that's coming out of Istanbul, but anyway, we're dancing here along these highs. We are not going any lower. Uh, when is the dam going to break? I don't know, but doesn't look good for the Turkish Lira. Very difficult to, to be short that sucker because of the carry. Uh, 20 to 30 points a day, and... When you're in these sort of low range days, it's tough, right? So, but eventually this is going to go. 
obviously six looks like an important number uh, on the charts here. Equities um, doing nothing here. Um, you know, traded up to 56 yesterday, down to 32. We've been 36.50 today. Nothing really going on there. Um, gold went higher yesterday, but just still in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's just kind of binary, right? You gotta just get your um, parameters in there. Consensus is for 150. ADP was a boomer, so, so a lot of people are thinking higher, but a lot of the more thoughtful research is saying don't just ignore ADP. Um, average hourly earnings is important for inflation. Um, you know, I don't know what to say. There's not much to uh, not much to say on a non-farm stay. Have your strategies. If it's a low one, we're going to do X. So here, if it's a low one, we're going to we're gonna buy euros. If it's a high one, we're gonna buy dollar yen. Uh, and then it's just a matter of reading short-term price action um, and capturing profit. On the dollar CAD side, uh, we're just gonna have some action on the top side because uh, that one gets a little bit tricky because there's two variables. Um, but uh, Surprise! It's the surprise trade here is dollar cat higher, so we like we always like that surprise side. Um, anyway, not much else to say. Uh, good luck today with the numbers, people. Uh, I will uh, talk to you on Monday. Have a good weekend, everybody. Ciao.